Nice. What is this guy? <laughs> Harpoon Master. Look at him. Let's go. Oh my god, dude, he actually hit me with the harpoon. I literally left out right there. Sweet baby Jesus. There we go. Nice, that dude didn't even whiff me. I keep rolling. This is my spot, bro. I don't like extra gamers. I didn't ask for visitors, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you flubbed it. No, dude. You switched to shield. I hate dying like that. I feel simpy. Mad simpy, bro. It's okay. Just keep dropping in, bro. You'll get them next time. Ah. Wow. <laughs> I just kind of griefed this kid. Let's go. Stop moving, bro. Like skeet shooting right there, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Of course, and he's gone, bro. Come on. Get the fuck off of me, scrub. Damn it, man! Ah, oh, of course, when I'm at my most vulnerable, bro. The storm is fucking moving. These guys are just not smart. That's what I'm talking about, bro. What the fuck is this game doing? Because I lost the last game, it's gonna give me a sympathy bot on top of my fucking head? Is that really what this game has come to, bro? You lose a game, so they drop a fucking bot on your roof just so you can- Oh, here's a free kill. That's such trash, bro. Get fucking rid of the bots. Like, holy shit, bro. If I'm gonna be facing people that fucking good in Endgame, there should be no bots in my fucking lobby. I just, I feel like condescended to by that bot, bro. Like Epic just fucking talked down to me with that bot right there. My problem with skill-based matchmaking, bro, is it feels like you get punished for getting better at a game. It feels like because you like a game and you care to play it a lot, the game decides you get to win less. Where like getting better at a game should increase the amount of win times you win, like it should increase your win rate. Skill-based matchmaking makes sure that you don't go above a certain fucking level. So that you never feel like you're getting better. It's like, I know I'm really fucking good at this game now. I'm not a god, but I'm pretty goddamn good. But it's not worn out in my, in my goddamn win rate, bro. The results are not there. Because every increment I go up, the game pulls you back down. Skillbase just pulls people down who care about the game, and then people who don't give a fuck about the game and play it like once a week, they get handed wins. Like like when I played with fucking Will and Cass the other day, no offense to them, but 
like Will barely ever plays. And we got five wins in a row. Why is that? It's because the game is trying to keep him playing. And the game knows I'll, I like the game enough to just keep playing. So it feeds me. That's that's the that's the feeling I get, bro. I get the feeling that the game feeds you. Apex has given me that feeling. That's why I don't play it anymore. I feel like it feeds you to people, bro. To people who spend more money. And this kind of does that to a lesser extent. Shark Week. All I had to work with there was that uh, SMG. I'd play it super tight, super duper tight. It's an annoying fight, and I don't have the health for it. Oh, dude. I kind of feel bad because that guy had to be a grandfather for me to beat him right there. Hey, Shimmy. Coming behind him. Got him. Thank you. No, I'm not going to go. I did, yeah. I hate having this ping, bro. I have two fucking pieces up there. He just gets through both of them. I got the guy that was between us. I got one of them down already. Whoa! Freaking grapple. Free, bro. I'm good with this thing. Oh, damn. He had that big pump, bro. I knew where he was, though. Rock my world right there, honestly. Oh, the umbrella rocked the shot. Nice, let's go. Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I'm playing impatient. Shyness is my superpower. Harley <laughs> said shyness is my superpower. <laughs> I'm like Phase Rug, Will. I got you guys. He's like Phase Rug, he says. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm in upholstery and carpeting and textiles. That's where, I, that's where I keep my business mostly. I gotta find him, I gotta trust him. Yeah, I got him. Mm, scaredy cat. Uh. I gave him a chance to die, you know, to do this peacefully. But little did he know, peace was never an option. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. Peace was <laughs> never an option, bro. <laughs> Dude, come on. I hit him again. I need help.
And I'm out of ammo. God damn it, bro. Fucking homie had 154 shotgun rounds, bro, and he didn't want to drop me one. This is gonna be uh, a cluster or it's gonna work out. I don't wanna be this close to these people. Yep, 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 yep. Dude, why did my game freeze like that? No, bro, because I had a fucking, ah, uh, an 82 on an edit like that, bro. And all because these fucking guys, because I had to play so fucking, I had to play like a bitch because I had no shotgun ammo, bro. They don't even fucking know what I could have done if they had just given me like 10 fucking rounds, dude. So wait for me to take the mini and here he comes. Damn it, dude. He was good. He was good. Fuck, man. They're always good. They're always fucking good with names, bro. What the fuck? There's no statistical fucking way. This is what pisses me off about skill-based. I've played 50 fucking games today, probably, bro. I haven't gotten a single fucking win. How does someone who can play like me get like a 2% fucking win rate, maybe. How? How? It's literally an inverse. The better you get at these fucking games of skill base, the worse your results are, bro. It's so fucking frustrating, dude. Every fucking fight is a creative 1v1. When did this game turn into this, bro? I don't care that everyone builds, but that's literally every single person in my lobby. And I know for a fact, 90% of Fortnite players can't play like that. The people who actually practice that much, bro, are, like, so fucking rare. They're like 5% of the Fortnite population. But they're all, they're, as far as the eye can fucking see when I queue up solo, bro. It's disheartening.